Hi, everybody. Um, I was just practicing crying on cue because, you know, uh, that's what you have to do in acting, right? You have to be able to cry on cue and have emotions whenever you need them, right? Kind of a little bit. We're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about emotions and how to go really deep with them today, all right? But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Julianne Lichty Stratton, and I am the creator of Actors in Action Professional Acting Conservatory. And I'm very, very excited to be here with you today. Um, at Actors in Action, we train actors to have the, use their, their best skills and to develop a fail-proof acting process so that they can rock any audition, callback, or booking, or anything like that. So that's what we're dedicated to. All right. So today we're going to be talking about craft, clearly, because we're going to be talking about how to access your, self, your emotions more. All right. So what we're going to talk about mostly is um, a few exercises that we do. One of them um, we do in class. It's called Emotional Muscle Development, and it is based on Meisner's emotional preparation. So if you've studied Meisner at all, you're going to be familiar with emotional muscle development. And um, with, with Meisner's emotional preparation, what he has you do is he has you look at the scene and you look, you look at the moment before, the moment right when you're going to go on, on um, you're going to act. And that is the emotional, the emotion that you're going for, that you want to bring up and you want to dredge that up and really feel it off stage before you walk on. So you're going to be emotionally full. Hey, Jake. Jake Howard is here. Hi, Jake. Good to see you. So, um, Jake, you're going to love this today. This is for you and for other people too. But all right. So that's what you do with emotional preparation is you have this feeling, you get connected to it. And then when you go on stage, you're full and you are present with that feeling. And then you let it go and you let yourself wander through whatever is going on emotionally in your, in your system. And, um, which is really cool. Emotional muscle development is pretty much the same thing. Um, we just take, we take any emotion that we're going to be working on. We sort of, we, you know, you can do it where you just draw it out of a hat and then you're going to sit and try to feel that feeling. And the difference really between the two is Meisner basically has you do a scenario. Think of a scenario that makes you feel that feeling more. In emotional muscle development, you can do a scenario, but you can also do other things. You can do images, get an image. You can do kinesthetic feelings, how it feels in your body. You can do sounds. You can do touch. You can do taste. You can even do sense memory. So it kind of combines Lee Strasberg with Meisner with Stanislavski, putting it all together like that. The reason that I do that is because some people don't really feel very strongly from scenarios. I certainly am one of those people when I was training Meisner at, uh, not with Meisner, but at the Meisner um, School of Playhouse West in LA, I, I never could quite connect to the scenario. But then when I just started doing it on my own, visuals and body sensations are what helped me get into the emotions more. All right, so that's what we have. And I'm actually gonna put a link on Actors and Actioners of a recording of me walking you through emotional muscle development. I'm going to do that a little bit later today, but I'm going to put that up there for you. All right. Okay, cool. So that's not exactly what I want to talk about though. We've got this wonderful exercise. These exercises is a way of getting in touch with our feelings and honing them for our scenes and for the plays and films we're doing. But what if you're one of those people like I used to be that you have a hard time feeling your feelings? I think there's a lot of people out there that are like that. We get really numb. We get on our phones. We get on our, our screens. We lose touch with our feelings. So if you are one of those people, which there's no shame in it, happens all the time, I'm going to give you some ideas of how to really work on opening up your emotional channels. So one thing you can do is you can find out something that makes you feel. Is there a piece of music? that really makes you feel something, makes you feel sad, makes you feel happy, whatever. And you may find that you have difficulties feeling certain emotions. Certain emotions might be just fine. You might be fine with happiness. You might be fine with fear. But sadness, you get caught. You have a hard time feeling sad or you have a hard time feeling elated or there could be different emotions. So what you want to do is you want to figure out a song, a movie, a YouTube video, um, 
maybe a book, maybe a scent, something that makes you feel an emotion deeply, especially an emotion you have troubles feeling with. So for me, I love the song by U2, With or Without You. It actually reminds me of my very first boyfriend that I had, that dumped me when I was 19. And for years after, just hearing that song would just bring me to a puddle of tears. I would just cry, 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 cry. And I still love the song and it still evokes a lot of emotion in me. So if I were to work on sadness, I um, I feel hard. it's a hard It's hard for me to feel sadness. It's hard for me to tap into that when I'm doing a scene or even in life, but mostly we're focusing on our acting work now. What I would do is I would take that song. I would get in a nice quiet room where it's safe, where I don't have to be disturbed by anybody. And I would put it on repeat and I would listen to it over and over and over. 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe even an hour if I was really feeling brave or if I had the time. And I would just sit there and practice feeling, and practice getting that in my body, and learning how to access my emotions. And I might use up a whole box of Kleenex crying, and that's okay. Um, Or I might, you know, I might sit there and be numb, too. I might be like, what's going on? I'm trying to feel sad. I know this song makes me sad, but I can't feel anything. I'm feeling numb. But that's okay. That probably just means that you have a little bit more heavy lifting to do with feeling, with getting those emotional channels open. So just sit there and feel your numbness and see if you can sense any kind of emotion deep down inside. Sometimes we have emotions and we're not in touch with them. They feel like they're wrapped in plastic or they're covered with something or we just can't access them as much. So just sit there with it. Sit there and feel it. Feel whatever you're feeling. And eventually, when that session is over, write down. You can take a little, make notes, keep a little journal. Did I feel anything? Was I crying? I was going for sadness. Was it happening? Was I feeling happy? Was I feeling numb? Just make little notes of that. And then do it a couple of days later or the next day and go and listen to that song again. Now, it could be that that song's not working for you or the video's not working or this book that you've always read that makes you feel a certain way. It's just not working for you anymore. You need to find something else that you can tap into that's going to make you feel a certain way. So that's something you have to assess. But once you find something and you really feel what you feel when you're listening to it or reading it or experiencing it, then you can keep engaging your emotions and keep going, all right? So eventually when you do that, you're going to be able just to, in life, be so much more open, so much more connected to people around you, and your acting work is going to skyrocket, okay, as far as being in touch with your emotions. All right, so those are just a couple of things. So find things that make you feel a certain way and sit with them, feel them. Feel them. If you have to be super angry for with a scene you're working on and anger is really scary for you to feel, find something that makes you really angry. I don't know, like dog fighting makes me really angry. Um, Sitting with that, reading about it, being with it. Now, this might be um, very difficult emotionally for, especially for those of us that are super blocked. You might need I don't know, to work with a therapist if you are super blocked emotionally. Don't do anything that's going to push you over the edge, that's going to make you want to harm yourself or others. Clearly, um, you may need more help than just picking something to feel. Assess that for yourself and know. And there's no shame in going to therapy. There's no shame in being able to have somebody help you get your emotions healthy and and in touch with yourself. (coughs) Excuse me. All right. So that is what I have to say. I'm going to drink some water because I'm coughing. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is my tip for the day, for the week. I would love to know if any of you practice this, feeling your feelings by picking something to feel and just sitting with it. I would love to know how it goes. I would love to know if it helps with your acting. Um, music is a super powerful thing to use. Sometimes you can just, if you're working on a scene, if you want to get more in touch with stuff, turn some music on while you're working on it. That's a really, really helpful. Us human beings really relate to that. But also the most important thing is, well, one of the most important things is find out what you need (coughs) to help you feel. Are you more kinesthetic? Are you more visual? Are you more sense memory? 
What are you? All right. So that's that for today. Have a wonderful day. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy this lovely weather. We will catch you next week. Please leave your comments below if you have any and let me know what you want to talk about for our next time. All right. Over and out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.